I literally cannot believe how amazing this AI art tool is. I am an artist. I don't want a computer to do art for me. I want it to do art with me. I want it to do a couple things that makes the ability to transform my old bad art into good art or my current art projects into better art projects. So what tools are available that use really intelligent AI to make your current art creation process better, not replace it. I need to create art. It's part of my expression. I don't want something to do it for me. So if you want to learn how to do that, watch this whole video and I'm going to show you this image right here, this very long necked girl with uh, weird pupil sizes and some different things are out of place and kind of janky looking. I'm going to show you at the end of this video what the transform version of her looks like. So stay tuned for that. So I'm using a program called Rebel 6 Pro. Now in this one, there is a brand new tool. This is a AI based liquify tool. I have never seen anything like this. It's so good. So good. So here's, here's what I'm going to show you. And those who've used uh, any type of smudging or liquify tool in the past, you're, you're going to understand immediately how amazing this is. Okay. So we have the AI tool here. We're going to use liquify push and I'm choosing the soft brush right here, and we're going to make this a little bigger. By the way, over here on the left, I have the touch panel from Tablet Pro. This is made specifically for Rebel 6, but you can use it in other programs. Okay, now look, these are eyelashes. They're eyelashes. Any time I've ever tried to do this in the past, it's ruined the artwork. You cannot smudge hair and have it look good. It just, we haven't been able to do that. So this is doing some really fancy stuff in the background, but look how fast this is. This is pressure based, which means a big push is going to push really far. And gentle pressure is going to allow you to really nudge and push this around in very small increments. Now, what I like is there is a liquify reconstruct. So here we start pushing, we don't like it, fine. Now in the past, what I have done is I'll use a lasso select tool. So let's say I want to reposition the uh, eye right here. Then I would grab it, I would scoot it. And then I would go through the arduous process of filling in the background. Okay, so we're here. Let's go through and deselect. Okay, so then you'd go here and you'd get another brush. You'd use a brush and you'd have to paint and color match. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of that. Uh, but we're going to turn water off so we don't bleed this like crazy. Okay, so we're going to go here and we're going to paint and match the colors. And then we're going to smudge this a little bit. And uh, the process just was quite long. It is really not a fast process. So here I'm going to show you how using AI to do some of this work for you allows you to still be in control, to still create, and be able to do some of these things the same uh, much faster. All right, so here we're going to choose the same tool liquify, we're going to choose push left. Okay, now watch. Can push left. And so if I tilt the stylus, I can use it to push left. If I go up, it's going to push right. Down is going to push left. And here, if I want to, I can grab certain parts and pull them over without destroying the other parts to the right. This, this is absolutely amazing and not something we were able to do in the past. Look at that. It retains its shape, its coloring, the texture of the brush strokes, the texture of the canvas stays there. This is super cool. Now I have 
a setting here in visual settings in Rebel turned on called NanoPixel. This is the other AI tool that you need to be using if you want your artwork to look really, really good and be responsive and fast and lag free when you're painting. So NanoPixel, this is actually the painting that I'm working on. This is the resolution. Here you can see the pixels. Now here I turn on NanoPixel and you can see this has upscaled it dynamically and intelligently using AI to make this smaller image beautiful when you print it, as well as adding depth to your image without increasing the file size and all sorts of problems that come with that. You can adjust the paper texture, the paint texture. You can see those adjusted there. to get exactly the style that you want. And Rebel 6 Pro, Rebel 6 has a lot of different canvas types. So if you want to have something with uh, less of a canvasy uh, look and more of a paper feel or a Japanese paper feel or some stone, you can do that in, in all of the paint layers on top of those textures. It's really cool. All right, so I told you I would show you the difference in this painting. Uh, the before and after, so I'm going to do that now. Um, right before I do that, uh, if you don't have a copy of Rebel 6 or Rebel 6 Pro, please use the link I have in the description. I do all their tutorials and love their software. We've worked together to incorporate certain things to make the artist pad. That's this panel here on the left. If you have a touch screen and a stylus, then this is a really, really perfect combination for you. So you can go to my website and check that out. And if you haven't bought Rebel 6 Pro, please use the link I have in the description. I have a great relationship with the company and they are actually fantastic people. And you'll support my channel and my family by doing that. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, I forgot. You guys wanna see the difference here. Now, keep in mind, she's a little tubby, but in here she's a little gaunt. All right, so here, is the AI fixed version, just the alignment and everything. And this was not hard to do. Just using these smudge and like, well, just using these uh, liquify tools, not the smudge. So in the past we used a smudge tool and it just, it ruined that section of the painting. You had to repaint it. This is not smudge. This is liquify right here, liquify push. Now I think this image still has some problems with it. I think she's got this very weird vacant look in her eyes. We're going to grab a liner and we are going to actually make these eyes look at us. That means we got to scoot them over a little bit and change the pupil position. Just a little adjustment on this side. Okay, so she's looking at us now. We've drawn this on another layer. And uh, we're going to go down to our uh, other layer. And we're going to use our liquify tool. So we're going to go here. We're going to use liquify push. I'm going to make this bigger to start. And let's get this to conform. smaller here. Drop the opacity, this overlying layer. All right, and let's turn off our top layer here. Okay, now when we look at this, we can see she's looking at us now, 
And now if we want to go back in here, we can actually just paint this in the same way that we would regularly. This tool to make sure we're in the right spot first. Get really nice, round, clean shapes. Okay, so to make this bigger, let's actually just use the liquify expand. All right, so we still have some problems with this picture, but she's looking at us now, and that was uh, easy to do, and I think you guys understand how it was done. Okay, so let's actually just paint here. All right, and that's looking mostly better. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.